If you guys don't mind, maybe we just start with actually a bit of music to get into the mode and then get into the questions. We're all really big fans of the games at Sumo, so it was really important to us that we respect the franchise's musical heritage. For us, that means having the freedom to assemble a really eclectic soundtrack. The game itself is split up into a number of different worlds, and each of those worlds we wanted to give its own musical identity. We looked for um, various different composers for each of the worlds that would fit the identity of that environment. So one of the things we were really keen on doing from the start was having kind of some thematic content that went throughout the game. Me and Jay worked on some melodic content that then we would hand out to the different composers of the different worlds, and they'd be able to take that content and do it in their own style. It really brings the whole thing together, and as you move through the game, there is this overarching feel that everything has come from the same place. The way that we've handled the interactive music is that we've broken each track down in two different ways. We've separated them out into the instrumental layers, We've also edited them down into their component segments. This allows us not only to remix the track in real time, but also to choreograph the arrangement based around the player's whereabouts and actions. Nick was just a result of quite a long search to find the composer that was going to handle all the, the cinematics and, and generally kind of tie everything together. Really. Oh, I do love a war. Welcome. Vex is the ultimate super villain. He's this huge character and he's malevolent and twisted and he's got an odd sense of fun. He really relishes bringing chaos. So we wanted to make things that sounded crazy and huger than they should be. We got fairground organs involved and New Orleans brass and strings playing woozily, like they just come off a, a fairground ride. And we stuck it all together and made a big noise, which feels to me like it's, it's Vex doing his thing. Oh, here he comes. Craft World's biggest spoil sport. Why are you trying to ruin everyone's fun? Winifred's worked on the franchise for a number of years now, and she's become quite a part of the overall aesthetic of the sound. This is the eighth game now that I've done in Sackboy's World. I've had a chance to create all kinds of music in different styles and genres and, and to express all sorts of, you know, different personality sides of Sackboy himself. The undersea world is a, it's an undiscovered country. In Sackboy's world, it's going to be even more wondrous. I wanted people to feel the idea of water and, and water sort of collaborating with the musical score. So there's a lot of popping bubbles and gurgling sounds that I pitched so that they could carry melodies and, and do little accent points and sound bell-like. For the Amazon, we obviously wanted to focus quite heavily on some South American flavours. Brian de Oliveira was a real natural fit for that. He's got a really great collection of authentic ethnic instruments. This time I got to work in the jungle temple areas and I got to explore how we can create an Amazonian darker sound for Sackboy. A lot of the small sounds and intricate sort of textural sounds that you hear in the music are actual instruments that I've picked up while I was in the Amazon. The first thing that came to my mind are these ceremonial shakers. And the nice thing, there's a speciality to it, so I'm moving it around. I, you know, started the, the main line with this Peruvian Mama Kena. This is a Brazilian pandeiro. This is an Ecuadorian horn that they, that they use in, in, in street processions. They're called wind whistles or death whistles. My goal with this is to really let the player feel like he's actually Sackboy. That he's this little being in this massive world with all of these sounds and, and it's slightly overwhelming, but at the same time, it feels like an adventure. For the world map, we really wanted this to be a place where there's no threat, there's no danger, so it needs to be really ambient, really calm. We didn't know Lena was a fan before we started speaking to her, so it kind of came as a nice surprise. Sackboy just kind of like leapt out at me. I was like, that's such a cool character. 
to be able to kind of, you know, make the leap behind the screen and have sort of, you know, an official presence uh, in the franchise is, is really fun. The composition for the world map music was sort of based in part on uh, some of the main theme of the game as well as um, my own sort of world map melody that I came up with. I hope it's nice and relaxing and it can kind of soothe you through your day and then you can hop back in the game and go to a level or two. To try to describe the music that I created for Sackboy, I can only think of it as being fun, surprising, exhilarating, unrestrained, beautiful, honest.